In the meantime, the story about uh, immigration in America goes on. A migrant from El Salvador now under arrest on charges that he sexually abused four young girls at a church in Maryland. Uh, Griff Jenkins is following that. Griff, what have you learned so far? Hello. Well, Bill, good morning. We've got a little bit of breaking news here, and I want to start with the Haitian man, 26-year-old Corey Alvarez. Fox News confirming he was brought into the U.S. last summer via the administration's CHNV parole program. Now, he flew directly, you see him here, directly from Haiti to JFK in New York in June of 2023. Listed as sponsor in New Jersey, has yet to be identified. He's now charged, Bill, with raping a 15-year-old disabled girl at a migrant hotel in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. He's pleaded not guilty, remains behind bars, and is awaiting a dangerousness hearing next week. ICE has placed a detainer on him. The Biden administration considers this parole program a lawful pathway to slow the illegal surge at our southern border. And a week ago, Secretary Mayorkas praised a court ruling upholding the program, saying this, we are pleased that today's court ruling means that the parole processes for individuals from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela will continue. These processes, a safe and orderly way to the United States have resulted in a significant reduction in the number of these individuals encountered at our southern border. We reached out to DHS for a statement. We've not heard back about this arrest. According to CBP data, the administration has brought over 138,000 Haitians into the U.S. via this program since January of 2023. Now, meanwhile, in Maryland, this El Salvadorian man, Giovanni Alfaro Lopez, illegally present in the U.S. in order to be deported three times since 2018, is charged with sexually abusing minors when he worked as a church teacher. Victims included the daughter of the church's pastor. He was previously arrested by Montgomery County Police in August in charge of second-degree rape, but local authorities in Montgomery County ignored an ICE detainer, and he was released. He was rearrested on Monday in Montgomery County. ICE says they have moved to readily deport him should he be released again. Two troubling cases, Bill.